If um, you're interested in having a custom arrangement done from the nursery here at the Ruth Bancroft Garden, you can choose to select one of the containers that we have on the sales floor. You can help us select the plants that you uh, think you would like and we can help let you know if they're going to pair well culturally, meaning do they all take the same amount of light and water. Or you can bring in your own container that you have found elsewhere. Maybe one of these. That'd be cute. Succulents lend themselves to uh, an endless uh, uh, list or, of applications, wedding arrangements. Succulents make wonderful gifts for anniversaries, weddings, birthdays, as a hostess gift. The Ruth Bancroft Garden and Nursery, both the garden proper and the nursery have classes. There's a DIY succulent series that has been running this entire year, the second Saturday of every month on how to assemble dish gardens and it's usually just a, a specific themed project that you take home with you. This is um, drywall tape hmm. and it has a little tiny bit of tack on one side, just just tiny bit and we cut a piece just large enough to cover the hole so that the soil won't go through but the water will. And first order of business is to take a certain amount of soil and start loading the container. About halfway. You know that this process is a, a give and take, you know, you back and forth, so just kind of guess. And then what uh, help is helpful is to tamp it down a bit, or even um, you could put a, a bit of water in there to help it sink just a tad, or actually to add a little bit of. Um, firmness so that when you're putting this together or when you go to transport it the plants in there are not super loosey-goosey and just fall out and since I love this little guy which will end up being a, sp a spiller which will go over the edge of the container eventually um, I'm thinking I kind of might like to pair it with this taller one uh, as opposed to this one just because or you know what is personal preference that creates contrast and then this one gives me a whole nother uh, leaf form and growth habit and texture, meaning a rosette rather than something tall and it spills over and something that's even goes up and higher. This is going to stay low. Now what we do is the soil in these containers is a grower's medium. It's a little bit more nutrient rich and fluffier and dries out super, super fast. It doesn't have the structure that our soil has. So what we do is get a pot, an empty pot, Succulent roots are more forgiving than herbaceous plant roots. So you don't have to be so concerned about damaging the roots prior to putting them in a container. Um, the plant's not going to just expire if you break some of them. And this is really dried out. Sometimes to loosen the root ball up, I will actually get a little bucket of water and swish this in the water, so I'm going to go do that because it will help loosen it a little bit better. So it's going to, it's softening it, softening it up. See how it's coming the way? I can leave it like this and put it in the container. So I don't want to put this right smack dab in the middle. I'll put it back in a corner. So now um, this root system is so short, and I have. The soil is a little too low to keep it up elevated at the rim of the container. So at this point, I need to add some more soil. Right where that plant's gonna go. Soil that is appropriate for succulents and cacti is fast draining. Um, and also too, one that is very structural. It doesn't collapse uh, over time, which prevents the soil from having air pockets because not only do soil need, excuse me, plants need water and nutrients, they also need air circulation just like the top part of a plant on the above soil ground needs aeration. So the structural soil that contains lava rock, pumice, and sharp sand is best for succulents. And you know this top dressing is, is not just strictly ornamental. It actually also serves a wonderful purpose that's practical and that is that when watering 
succulent. The word succulent means juicy. The leaves of succulents are just loaded with water. So when you water, soil absorbs water and hangs on to it. And when the leaf surfaces are resting on top of that soil, they can draw up the water into their leaves, which might be too much for them and cause them to rot. So that's one of the practical purposes of top dressing. And, so, and what's nice is to be able to actually shove it, not just around the plant, but under the leaves to help protect the leaves from that excess moisture. And you can choose to, if it's a really hot, hot, dry day, you can choose to water it in after putting it all together or you can wait. Succulents don't really need to be watered any more than once a week and watered all the way through till the water comes out of the bottom of the container. Uh, and don't water them again until the container soil is almost all dry. So that'll change during the winter. It would might probably be less than once a week, maybe every other week. Depending on the plant species, it could only be once a month during the winter.